Well, hello guys and gals, and welcome back to another edition of Euro Truck Simulator 2 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Hey, so we are in the final week leading up to American Truck Simulator and the release, so I thought uh, for the next few days we'll just be doing a little Euro Truck each day for you guys, and just as a way to say goodbye to Europe and hello to trucking in America. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to the day when we can go, you remember when we used to drive in Europe? Uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, we're going to, this week, we're going to drive all of the European trucks. I'm not going to be doing the uh, Peterbilt thing because, let's be honest, next week I get legit Peterbilts that are done in-game and done by uh, SES, and that's going to be really, really cool. So looking forward to doing that. So today we're going to start off with the Scania Streamline Top Line. I've driven this before. We drove it uh, on the multiplayer server a bit. So uh, that's what we're going to be driving today and having a little bit of fun with it. Uh, I've got a pretty cool little job lined up for us using the Heavy Haulage Pack from SES. We're going to be hauling a yacht from Warsaw to somewhere else in Poland. It's not a really long route, um, and um, but it's just a simple route because we are recording this. I don't want it to get really, really long, uh, but it is a heavy haulage and, uh, you know, needs a little bit more attention. So uh, that's what we're going to be hauling today. So anyways, let's jump into the truck and get going. It is nighttime, so unfortunately you can't see a uh, yacht that good. But we'll uh, jump in the truck and get going. Okay, so we're in Pro Mods also, and I have removed uh, the snow package because uh, I'm just done with it. I'm done with the winter thing. Unless I get on the multiplayer and play with Alex or something, um, and then that's, you know, it. I mean, it's roasty toasty outside at my house, so uh, I don't really need that anymore. And since I haven't made some adjustments, let me go ahead and make sure my track IR is configured properly. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this place. This place has got a little median right here in it, which is going to give me some problems, possibly. And it does right off the bat. Uh, I don't know why they wanted to put that in here, other than just give me nightmare fits with it. That's all right. Just want to take it nice and slow. Make sure that the yacht turns and gets up behind me and not hung up on that cargo right there. All right. So where are we going? We're going left out of here. So head up to the roundabout here. Actually, this is a T intersection up here. Or actually, yeah, it's a T for the most part. So yeah, we're getting ready to head to ATS, which is uh, going to be so awesome. I cannot wait. I am so excited. It's like, uh, we're a week out, you know? It's, uh, it's almost like waiting on Christmas now. And um, gosh, so excited. So I think, um, you know, looking at mods and all that and everything, like I said, this week, I'm just going to go through and drive a different truck each day uh, in this, uh, from the original trucks, just sort of as a uh, adios to them and uh, sort of as a tribute to uh, Euro Truck because we have had, you know, I have had a couple of years of enjoyment out of this game. And uh, it's doubtful I will come back to it. You know, maybe drive it every once in a while, but I'll bet you for the next several months, unless somebody says, hey, let's go drive a Euro truck uh, just for giggles, I, I have a real sneaky suspicion that I won't be back in this game uh, once February 3rd rolls around and uh, I have the, uh, the legit game rolling. So... We'll go ahead and we'll take advantage of it right now. Just kind of say thank you for for years of entertainment to the Euro truck, and uh, but also move away from it. 
so this week we'll drive all the different trucks and uh, just go through and have some fun with them so that's my game plan anyways so expect a Euro truck a day as we uh, make our way uh, towards ATS and sort of you know one of the things I think I'm gonna do and um, heading into ATS I really like I said I'm looking forward to having legit you know SCS versions of each of the trucks uh, instead of mods so that way the mirrors all work uh, everything functions right like it should in the game um, so I can put my little puppy dog and stuff on there all that different stuff um, I'm planning on pretty much just driving the stock vehicles so I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some mods come out pretty quick for the game but I think for me I'm gonna stick with the stock stuff for a while um, I think for me I want to keep it uh, more legit and just keep it on that I hate beacons but since I am hauling a heavy load I think I'll go ahead and turn the beacons on for this run and uh, keep them going since we are hauling a big old yacht and I'm not on the multiplayer so it really doesn't lag out or cause any issues I'm the only one it's going to affect if I run the lights on there so but yeah hope you guys are excited about ATS as I am um, it's gonna be awesome I mean it's just gonna be so nice to have a Peterbilt or Kenworth that um, when the game updates it doesn't get broken you know what I mean and that's sort of the reasons why I want to stick with the stock game because I bet there's gonna be a ton of updates right in the beginning yeah I may do some mod showcases as new trucks come out while people are putting out because look I know that the community is not real happy about the fact that there's no T800 automatically uh, coming right out in the opening release so um, or at least that's the information I've been led to believe that there is no T800 coming out in the beginning I think a lot of people are gonna be disappointed if that's the case and uh, so somebody's gonna mod one right off the bat you know some of these you know you're you're looking at a code that's probably the exact same code as um, as your old truck so a lot of people will probably just dump mods into it right off the bat uh, I'm gonna avoid that I'm gonna avoid those I'm, I'm you know if something really great comes out I might do a mod sh showcase on it just to spotlight it but I'm gonna stick with for me I'm gonna stick with driving the stock trucks um, I'm thinking about making my own little you know uh, livery up for it so that I got a good-looking custom mr. moose truck and uh, go from there so that's gonna be my game plan anyways so stoked though now I can't believe it's almost here every day I look at the calendar and think is it February 3rd yet is it February 3rd yet and alas it's not came through the weekend start off Monday and think Oh, I can't wait for the weekend to get here because it's going to be that much closer to February 3rd. Right? So. Yeah, watch my speed here. But anyways. Radoom. Radoom. I don't know. I gotta, you know, that's another thing that's going to be nice. Get into ATS. I'll be able to pronounce all the cities and know a little history about the town and you know? I won't have to guess as, you know, whether I'm offending somebody by mispronouncing their hometown. You know, pretty much know the states.
So, California and Nevada. I was really excited to hear Nevada is going to be, you know, coming out right in the opening release as well. That's going to be very cool to be able to have two states to roam. So my game plan moving forward is uh, as soon as I can get it downloaded, I'm going to start going live with it and live streaming. And uh, probably Billy, what I'll do is like six hour live streams. Uh, I was thinking over the weekend how to break it up and not be killing myself, but also, you know, maximize my playtime on it. I'm thinking I might do like six hour streams, like stream for six hours, take a four hour break, and then come back and stream for another six hours, take a break, stream for another six hours. Um, and one of the reasons why is the way YouTube works as far as archives and everything, you, you can only maximum archive eight hours. So if I just did like six hours, um, you know, I could stop, take a four hour break, let that start archiving, uh, and then I can come back and do my next six hours, take a little break, come back. Because, like, if I start at midnight streaming, stream up until about 6 a.m. my time, um, or whenever the game becomes available for me, let's, I just assume midnight my time, but uh, if they go on a European schedule, I might get it anywhere around, you know, 8, 9 o'clock, uh, you know, my time. It just depends on how they do the releases. I suspect it will be a staggered rollout uh, to where, like, Europe will get it at midnight their time and then it'll just become available uh, you know at midnight in the states uh, Eastern Standard Time and then like Mountain Time I'll have to wait for their that download that's the way Steam does a lot of games so but depending on how they do it how everything gets rolled out as soon as I get my hands on it and I can do something with it then uh, I plan on getting started and just streaming straight for the for you know several days and just uh it will be next week will pretty much be ats week um i'm i may record a little bit of farm sim stuff to throw in there um but pretty much most of next week will be um will pretty much be all ats stuff hopefully you guys will enjoy that and we'll have some fun with it And we might even have some goodies to give away for for the release. We'll see. Got a little uh, wreck over here going on. A little ambulance action. supposed to be headed here I yeah. I'm gonna assume I'm going this way since there's X's there it's just the way they break everything up on that GPS sometimes it gets a little confusing load going through a bunch of guardrails always a load of fun all right we got through there unscathed hopefully and off we continue and we're almost to our destination actually 13 minutes like I said it was a short run I uh, just want to do a little something something and uh, uh, I do you know We'll continue to do more and more runs, but like I said, I, I saw the yacht and I was like, ooh, yacht, hadn't hauled that. 
let's uh let's haul it yeah I want to watch my speed come down this Got a little left hander up here. All right. And while we're at the stop sign, why don't we get a quick little photo of our load here? Let's go into the photo studio. Photo mode and come over here real quick. Hmm. Forget how you go up Q, isn't it? There we go. Yeah. There we go. That'd be a good picture right there. There we go. I like to get a little screenshot have that for thumbnail and add it to our inventory. Nice little look at that boat. A 36 footer. So anyways, um, like I said, these may be short runs. They'll progressively get longer. I plan on doing some live streams of Euro Truck this week where I do like maybe a run all the way from uh, England all the way into Poland uh, and cover the entire map. I think that would be a cool thing to do like this weekend. Uh, you know, like Saturday night. Let's just, you know, drive from one end of the map all the way to the other um, for a big huge long live stream and just go all the way from one side of England you know all the way from the from the ocean all the way across into Poland I think that would be cool so like, like I said hopefully you guys will enjoy that uh, if you like the sound of it make sure you let me know in the comments below uh, and that will, uh, if you have any suggestions for trucks to drive or truck engine combinations and such that you might like to see this week, let me know. Oh, this is interesting with this curb here. I'm definitely going to make bringing this thing in here a bit more challenging. Yeah, hello, Pro Mods. Wow. This one is an interesting, interesting area to load into. That's the thing about it, man. Pro Mods changes this game so very much. Can you imagine coming in here with an extra long load and a Peterbilt? Uh, it would be a nightmare. Come on, don't hit that curb. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, that is um tricky right there, I gotta tell ya. That made the whole bringing the whole load into this place uh, that much more fun having to pull it into that. So 
that's another thing I'm really really excited about the way they're doing um, things in American Truck Sim uh, as far as how you bring your load in and uh, deliver it um, because they are really going to change up the way you do things and um, how you bring your trucks in specifically because you're going to have three different options on how you where you park your load and um, that's going to be super killer Speaking of super killer, this is going to be a challenge here. And I have already failed at it. Straighten up a little bit more. I get this thing at least get it in here and then I can worry about getting it into the slot I'm so messed up on this one I do not know that I'm gonna be able to I don't want to get too aggressive macking it in there and not be able to straighten up on it. Having that guardrail there is just just makes this killer tight. I guess I need to start over again, so that's what we'll do. Let's pull her on out. We need to start our turn a little bit earlier. So we start rotating as soon as we get right past that truck. Still Come on, baby. Oh, stalled her out. Straighten up a little bit. Watch my front mirror there so I don't hit that concrete barrier. I mean, I, this is a tight, tight, tight loading bag. It's a uh, certainly nothing compared to the one that I did before. But it is a challenge. Why do I keep stalling out? All right. 
Come on back, baby. It's pretty close. I want to come forward a little bit and straighten it out one more time. Took my eye off the prize there. There we go. That's pretty straight right there. That should be about perfect. There we go. Let's see what we got. Eh, almost. All right. So, got that delivered rock on and we're level 41 I don't know how high you can actually get I guess there's like level 99 or whatever so but there we go so there's our yacht delivered and that's gonna do it for this run but anyways like I said guys the week-long Euro truck uh, marathon will begin today and will continue each day this week so anyways hope you guys enjoy it i uh, also have some other videos up as well it won't just be euro truck this week uh, we'll do construction sim probably some scrap mechanic and this and a little farm sim we'll mix it all up but there will be a uh, euro truck every day this week so all right until our next video guys if you enjoyed this one as always make sure you give me a thumbs up share the video if you want to help support the channel that is the best way you can do it by sharing the video and let other people see it uh, and then of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do I'll do new videos for you each and every day this week thanks a lot guys have yourself a great week and uh, do some trucking and enjoy a Euro truck as we get towards American Truck Simulator. Until our next video, stay safe, have a great day, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.